Madison Square Garden and to HBO Boxing. Thank you, guys. Hey, what uh, makes Igor so dangerous? Uh, because he's very motivated right now. I think so. It's my opinion because uh, where I'm motivated, I can crush everything and everybody on my way to my goals. And right now, I, I'm motivated again. You know, like it's uh, it's very great uh, feel. Good job on your last fight. Yeah, it was just a, yeah one of uh, of me, one of uh, one part of me. Yeah. Any predictions for this fight? You know, like my goal to get victory any any cost, by any cost. Yeah. Everybody say right now this unknown. This is like uh, easy for Kovalev. Okay, we'll see. I will be happy if it will be easy, but I don't think so. Because he's left-handed, uh, uh, southpaw, uh, motivated, and it, this make this makes his uh, dangerous. Very good fight, and I know what's right now behind uh, Igor Mikhalkin, you know, because uh, this is, uh, is the next test for me. Because uh, uh, yes, he's a known guy, but he's a big champion. He won uh, uh, 21 uh, fight, one loss, you know, just. Uh, uh, I, I not didn't overrated him, you know, because he's uh, he's he's dangerous because he's motivated. You know, I remember my myself when I was motivated. Believe me, I'm ready to do everything. In, in terms of your last fight, you talked about and, how this is and, and I'm right now motivated again, you know. Yeah. But last uh, year, a little bit lost uh, focus of uh, of my training camps because it was. Uh, Wrong, uh, wrong uh, coaches, yeah. coaches in my team. You know, like I, I made some mistakes. You know, it, it's my fault. But right now, uh, we're working together, together with uh, Bro, there's a lot of like, and uh, how you see, a little bit imp uh, improved. And in terms of your last fight, what did you learn from the last fight to previous? Where you switched trainers? You know, can you exactly tell us what, what what has changed since then? You know, uh, I nothing to study from last fight. I just understand that I can follow again, uh, follow uh, for my dreams, and uh, can fight on the high level and uh, make a crash, make a crash everybody to my goals, uh, to my dreams. Because like it was a, just a, like a comeback of my mentality, you know. Because my me mentally was uh, I was broke mentally from first fight. Uh, with Underworld. When they robbed me, I was disappointed, you know, like, it's like, I was in, 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 a, in a psychology thing, you know, just uh, like, I was not happy, you know, like, and like, uh, my emotions inside me killed me, killed myself. And right now, uh, from my last fight, I understand that everything is okay, and fuck this uh, past, you know, like, uh, two fights, <laughs> it's just a uh, good experience for me. And experience and lesson from the life. Yeah. From the life. Now that you mentioned RJ Ward, do you feel like he's trying to take his spotlight? You know, he took the picture with Bibble, knowing that your fight is coming this Saturday. Like, do you feel like he's trying to take his spotlight? You know, the conference. Listen, I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. Yeah. But when I saw when I saw that uh, on Instagram he's punched to my face, yeah. I was like, hey come on. Yeah. Yes, of course, he touched me. Yeah. And after that, I, I, I started like a uh, inst investigation. Yeah. Why he put it? And I saw on my uh, the Instagram that I shared from Jeff uh, some pictures uh, for photographer of his, his logo. Yeah. He put the, his face in my, uh, uh, my glove on his face. Yeah. And announced that I will be to fight in here much third. Yeah. And I just uh, reposted. Yeah. You know, I reposted and he put the this uh, how he uh, punched me uh, in, in our last fight in, in uh, eight round. And I asked him, yeah. don't worry. Uh, it's uh, like heavyweight. It's life, it's sport, for me, everything together. How did you fighting in uh, Madison Square Garden again? You know, last fight you I'm, happy. I'm happy that uh, uh, my name deserves it. Uh, Fight uh, in the big history name, yeah. like in Madison Square Garden. Yeah. You fought in Vegas. Theater. You fought in Vegas as well. What was the difference between fighting at Las Vegas and here, Madison Square Garden? Did you see like better judging? Anything different? Yeah, you, you know, like, can I no comments this situation? Like, just uh, 
I, I was involved in some game, you know, yeah. in Vegas, and I lost this game. Yeah. It was not a sport. It was a sport, not only in, in, in sport. It was uh, everything dirty around the sport in our uh, fight, me and work. Yeah. You know, like, and listen, I already said it's a good lesson for me, like, yeah. just a uh, little bit need, need a smarter move to go forward, you know. Like, but I was uh, from Chilevitz, you know, yeah, my hometown. Yeah. I, I never saw something like I never been on this stage. And yes, I'm like a uh, kitten, like with the with the close eyes, like everywhere. I'm ready to fight, like just to pay me, pay me money, like with good money, right money. Yeah. Hector. Uh, you missed an award that called you a four-round fighter. They said that you get tired too fast. Do you think that was any truth to that? Who said? Saturday. Andre Ward picked you out Saturday at HBO. He says, oh, there's uh, Sergei Kovalev. Then he said, oh, it would be a great thing if we have a third match. That's what he said. So then... I'm fine. Uh, 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 Jim Napoli asked him, are you, are you telling me you're coming back? He says, no, but we never know. We could yeah, have a we third never match. Know, you know, <laughs> it's not like you show him money and he will back. Yeah. It, it, it's life. It's, it's life. life. And money is an yeah. energy where you spend for your kids, for your family, exactly. for everything, you know, around right. you. Of course, money like a, have a have a sense like it to make a finish like right, it, you right, know, like, right, right. And of course, like somewhere he will want to get money again, like. And I'm ready, like, for third fight. And he, if he uh, the uh, real champion, he will approve it well, in the see. third because first fight he didn't lousy. Win. You won. Yeah. Yes, he didn't. Uh, second fight. Okay, yes, I was in a bad condition, exactly. uh, mentally, uh, a lot of uh, terms. My, but start the fight wrong, uh, Tony Vick. Right. No, I'm good. But third you fight, know, yes. you're, you're third, 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 third fight, fight you're ready. will put everything on the on the uh, there where it should be. Right. Me. Good. On the top. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's your thoughts about the light heavyweight division overall? Is this, is this an exciting time at the light heavyweight division? Like yourself, Bivol, Pereira, Jack? Like it's yeah, it's, you know, like, it's, it reminds me a little bit of the Russian championship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we in Russia always like a uh, big concurrence and yeah. fight each other, you know. Not with Dmitry. I mean, like, Bitter Beef was, uh, was uh, Matt, Matt Korobov yeah. and... Uh, you guys like uh, who didn't turn the pro, but it reminds me this situation. Yeah. And yeah. if uh, in this uh, division will be so, super serious, yeah. like right now in uh, the cruiser cruiser weight, cruiser weight. Yeah, yeah. It, it's great tournament. It's, yeah. great, it, it's great. It's great. And uh, listen, world is one, right? Yeah, yeah. And the champion of the world should be one too. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, let's find out who is the best. The camp was a positive. You look, you look happy. You look uh, at peace. That's the way yeah, I love I, to I'm see happy. you, man. I love to I'm see you. I'm happy tonight. because I'm still alive. I'm still uh, uh, fighting. I'm still having fun from the life, from my family, you know, like, and uh, from the boxing fans. Thank you very much for your support. And this, for me, means a lot because, like, with your support, I can do much more than I can alone. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Mendez Gym here in New York City. Hope you've enjoyed the show and we'll see you at the fights.